Okay, I almost forgot one thing here. Almost forgot one thing here. What is the process like re re redeeming our free game? That's a question I've been asking myself. We need to do that right away. So we go to the amdrewards.com and the first thing that happens is we get sign in walled. You can't just get a free game, you have to sign up with AMD Rewards, which I have done before, and I was able to, even though I haven't accessed it in years, since I got my 3800X and got a free Outer Worlds and Borderlands 3, I still found my login information and it still was valid, so that's something. Now I have a coupon code to put in. Let's see if I can figure this out. Okay, obviously not gonna show it to you. We need to download the product verification tool. So I, I knew that was coming. So we got to install software on our system. Create desktop. Why the frick would I want to make that on my desktop? Come on now. All right, here we go. I have to enter my coupon code again. Running verification. Okay, bud. Code coupon limit. Really? That's what you're going to do? It's almost like, is this is this a built-on hoop to jump? Is that what happened? Because I only got this the other day. It hasn't been long enough. Okay, so it's not even giving me that option. I guess this one. No, this was not helpful. Okay, obviously this isn't what I'm looking for. You be bad. I guess Epic Games Steam. I would like if it was a Steam. Send me a coupon code. No, you must. I'm just gonna generally submit this same comment. Wait, system check did not pass? How's that a thing? Unless this coupon code, I'm, I'm reading it wrong. It's like, okay, let's, let's, um, there's one letter here. I'm not sure if it's cut off or, no, oh, it looks like what the receipt says. Can I call these guys? Not here. Okay, where do I go to support an AMD reward support ticket? Ah, oh, there it is. I guess I'm gonna put in a support ticket. What a pain in the ass. Okay, so credit to AMD. They got back to me fast, faster than I expected. Not even the next day. It's the next day now, but they got back to me at 8 p.m. 8, 9 p.m. I wonder if they're in a different time zone there and that's working hours for them, but it's convenient for me. I could have had this done by the end of the day. I put it off because I wanted to roll camera for this, but now um, I guess we run that damn app again. What? Hold up, what is this? What is this? Please download the product verification tool again? What do you mean download it again? That doesn't make any freaking sense why you would have to download it again. Huh? You're freaking kidding me, bud. I almost feel like there's like just like hoops baked into this process just to like discourage you from actually collecting this. No, the, I just reinstalled it and I noticed the install has like gobbledygook. Literally, we literally have to download it again. That's severely derpentine. Like what's the point of that? Ugh, I gotta fucking log in again. Okay, and I don't see instantly a link for the verification tool, so I gotta go put in the freaking dumbass number again. Then it's gonna tell me. There, download the product verification tool. Did I not just click okay? Oh, I had to click product verification tool. So what, do they give you a unique verification tool each time? Just to make sure we're not herp to derp I'm gonna uninstall the last one. Now let's install the new one. Launch product verification tool. Okay, now it's working. Pump this dumb code in again. Run verification. There we go. Product successfully validated. Okay. Now what? Starfield game bottle promotion. Credit expires 1028. Redeem. Uh, did you purchase? I. It, it, yeah. Search retail by name. I bought it from Memory Express. Add to cart. Okay. Starfield Premium Edition. Check the box to confirm your selections. I have reviewed and confirmed the selection above. Next. Hopefully this isn't something I have to install like right now. Surely it's just gonna send me a, an email or something. <laughs> Please let us know what we're doing well and where we can improve. Do you really wanna know? 
I don't know that they do. Here's your AMD Wards Redemption, okay? Um, now what? We will update your account and notify you as soon as the content key becomes available. Release date 9-6, so next month. Actually, that's the, um, okay, we all know how these game developers work. That's not the release date. That's the delay announcement date where they say, oh, it's going to be another year. The whole thing that's bothering me about this, it's the question that's been burning in my mind ever since I saw this free promotion get launched. And the thing that I can't get a straight freaking answer on, what gaming service? What gaming service? What, what gaming service? We know it's not going to be Steam. I doubt it's going to be Epic, like the last promotion. What is it this time? I'm guessing it's going to be Game X, Xbox Live, um, whatever that Microsoft service Services. I just, it blows my mind. I can't just look that up. I've tried searching for it. Wait, it says Steam right there? No. Really? It's going to be a Steam game? I'll be super impressed if that's it. If it's actually just going to be Steam this time. I overlooked it that whole time. That'd be awesome. Maybe I should have paid more attention. Okay, well, that's the claiming your AMD reward experience. A little bit absurd, a little bit of jump hoopy, but I guess um, if you're entitled to it, you're gonna get it. Time will tell. A month from now, that's a month and two days from now, I will see if I actually get this. I almost just want to email support back and be like, yeah, straight up, I'm just gonna like, I'm just gonna ask them, see what it says. Is that what it said? If it's Steam, cool, I'm down for that. I'm a one-stop shop. I didn't wanna have to sign up for another service. I had to sign up for Epic Games last time we did this, so now I have an Epic Game account just for Borderlands 3 and Outer Worlds. And it's like, well, I haven't played them again since so I haven't like even booted up Epic. And I don't wanna buy anything else from Epic. I guess Borderland DLCs, I don't know. But anyway, I think we're done here. That was the AMD Rewards experience. So so maybe you can know what to expect. Now this computer that I've done that, I am putting the drive back in the little slot and then I'm gonna wipe it all this out because we're gonna start over again and I'm gonna get this ready for the computer build. Stay tuned for that. Okay, no, no, we're gonna do it. We're doing it. We're doing it, but we're doing it. I already did the first page where it was like, um, how happy were you with your experience today? Six. Uh, did you accomplish your goal today? Yes. How likely are you to recommend AMD? 10, because basically that's all I use and have used for possibly over a decade now. No, 20 years even. So I just stick with AMD. You're welcome. Because if it wasn't for people like me willing to struggle with an FX8350, Fifty, or dare I say the Phenom 9600. I don't care what Linus has to say about the quad father. The 9600 was the biggest bust in AMD history. But if it wasn't for <laughs> idiots like me continuing to support this company, they would have never gotten good again so that you could enjoy Ryzen today. And dare I say, maybe Radeon's getting competitive with Nvidia. So you're, again, you're, you're welcome. You're welcome. Chipsets, motherboards, yes, I definitely have AMD chipsets. Radeon graphics, yes, definitely I have all sorts. Ryzen's, all sorts of Ryzen's. My eye is still sore, I got soap in it in the shower. FX processors. I guess I still have some in stock. I've definitely owned FXs, but I guess I haven't had Fire Pros, Pros, Pros. I've never had Radeon memory. APUs? Oh yeah, definitely. I got APUs. AMD was in the system I purchased. No, hardware compatibility? Eh, sure. Software? Eh, not really. Because for the longest time, a lot of software was written for Intel and Nvidia. Ethical business practice? You're kidding, right? You're kidding. I don't think there's such a thing in a publicly traded company. Corporate responsibility? You're kidding, right? You're kidding. Superior software? You're kidding, right? You're, you're kidding. Industry specific product needs? Nah. Price per performance value? I guess that's pretty good, even though it's like, I, they're just, they're on par with Nvidia now, I guess. Superior quality? Well, recommendations. My organization dictates purchasing AMD products. Hey! <laughs> I, I could maybe put that one. I prefer AMD. Yeah, th that's it. Just fanboy. That's what it boils down to, right? Not, not going to pretend there's any more reason for it than that. Next, please rate the following statements. Speed that pages loaded content for you. Um, what? I, I Average? Consistency of completed loading pages? No, inconsistent because it's like, oh, you have to do the app again. I, I'm gonna say responsiveness of the pages to your actions. 
average visual appeal average space between item what the frick is this you want me to review nuances of your web page like legibility well yeah it was legible ease of finding what you were looking for it was down there actually it was low because when it said contact support it didn't just send me to contact support it made me freaking click around trying to find where to click support and it wasn't immediately obvious i tripped around like an idiot average links on take it where you needed to go again no because you told me to contact support submit survey that's it well i, I thought there was going to be a little typey box but yeah, 